About 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid hit Earth and wiped out all sort of life forms. It also ended the biggest life form of that time, dinosaurs. But what if something that catastrophic hits Earth again? Will the humans be able to survive? And why the asteroid was so lethal that it destroyed whole species of dinosaurs? The asteroid that wiped dinosaurs was 10 to 15 kilometers wide. Just consider a rock twice as big as the Mount Everest hitting Earth at a speed of 33 kilometers per hour. With those statistics, we can imagine why all the dinosaurs were wiped off from the Earth. This catastrophe paved way for other destructive events, like massive vaporization on the coast of Mexico, huge tsunamis, earthquakes, shooting dangerous gases, dust and debris into the upper atmosphere, blotting out the sun and killing off most of the plant life on Earth. The dinosaurs which roamed the Earth for hundreds of years died by the end of a day or two by this catastrophe. But what if similar asteroid hits again? Will the human with their soft skins and no protective shells be able to protect themselves from this lethal impact? while the hard-skinned and strong-boned dinosaurs were not able to survive. Well, if you want to prepare for the asteroid hit once again, get ready for the worst. The nearest asteroid to the Earth is the Apophis. However, this asteroid is not as large as the Chicxulub that killed the dinosaurs. But still, if it ever hit us, it will produce a massive reaction similar to the Hiroshima blast. What if it hits your city, right where you and your loved ones are living? Having this thought will simply terrify anyone. But if you know the impact of the asteroid on Earth, you will be terrorized for days and days to come. When something several kilometers wide under a 35 kilometer per hour velocity hits the Earth, first of all, it will create the biggest thrash on the Earth a hole about 20 kilometers deep and several kilometers wide will be created on Earth. An asteroid of this magnitude would obliterate reinforced concrete buildings within a radius of up to half a mile from the impact point and level wooden structures as far as several kilometers. In essence, it would cause severe destruction to any habitable area it strikes. Within seconds, many cities will be vaporized. All living creatures will be killed and their bodies will be vaporized within seconds. A huge shock wave will be produced, which will kill anyone standing in a 100 kilometer radius. After that, there will be complete blackout of visibility for a year due to vast quantities of dust, debris, and vaporized rock in Earth atmosphere after the collision not long after this, the world will be shaken with worldwide earthquakes. The impact of this asteroid will trigger a mega earthquake that will last for weeks to even months. The volcanoes in Hawaii, Canary Islands and Argentina will become active. These volcanic eruptions will have devastating effects on the surrounding environment, communities and infrastructure. But the story does not end here. What if after a while facing all of this, the ocean starts sending tsunamis your way? In addition to all of this, the water will revolt against us too. Chicxulub asteroid generated a massive mega tsunami with waves reaching more than a mile high. So to destroy the Earth, asteroid will have to create the tsunami bigger than the mega tsunami created by Chicxulub. A tsunami having waves several miles wide will wash away states like Alaska. All this will not settle while the dark clouds of dust and smoke will arrive. All the visibility will be blocked out and the sunlight will be blocked for several years. Years after that, toxic rains will arrive, killing everything they are poured on. Acid rain and blocking of sunlight for years due to clouds of dust and smoke would result in a worldwide temperature drop, disturbing ecosystems and agricultural cycles, and this condition will lead to widespread crop failures 
and food shortages. Moreover, this environmental disruption would lead to mass die-offs of plant and animal species, impacting biodiversity and altering ecosystems permanently. The biggest challenge that humanity will see is food shortage. Starvation will be so devastating that many countries will be hit with wars and chaos due to food shortage. But what if there is a way to get out of this catastrophe? There are few bunkers established around the world that can be used as shelters. There are also thousands of fallout shelter, including the ones in Switzerland and many underground cities like Derinkuyu in Turkey and Nushabad in Iran that could save millions of humans. Rest of the world can take shelter in subways and mines, but only some of these shelters will be sufficient for months or years. There are only a few highly advanced doomsday bunkers that can provide food sources. One of them is the Raven Rock Mountain Complex in Pennsylvania that can accommodate thousands of people with its own water resources. The ultra-rich have citizenship in the Switzerland, which is known as a safe haven of luxury bunkers. But as long as the fresh water sources are contaminated, the issue of food shortage will arrive sooner or later. But thanks to nature that has a way of getting away from all problems, you will be amazed to know that there are still some food options left in this catastrophic conditions. The fungi can serve as a conservative food option because it can withstand the deadly fires and can grow without oxygen. Now that we have found a safe food source, let's go to where we started all this. What if there is a way of stopping the asteroid hit? Scientists for years and years have been trying to find why the Chicxulub hit Earth and what if it hits back. They have come with various theories too. One of the biggest solution is to find the location of the asteroid. Luckily, the scientists have been able to locate all the celestial bodies in our solar system and none of them possess any greater threat to hit the Earth. While if we come through any accidental strike, there are some solutions that we could use. The biggest solution is to divert the path of the asteroid. Scientists have suggested various techniques for this. There has been a successful NASA trial known as Kinetic Impactor. This means that a high-speed spacecraft is collided with the asteroid to change its trajectory or velocity. Another solution can be to send a spacecraft to revolve around the asteroid for several years until the asteroid's path is changed. Last, but not the least, is laser ablation. Many laser sources can be sent to the space that will project on the asteroid surface, causing its part to break or evaporate. But if nothing on this list works and we do not have any other option, there is still one terrible solution, which is to leave Earth behind. But it has its own consequences. What if we leave Earth and be unsuccessful in finding any other habitable place to live? What if the dangerous aliens will be waiting for us on the other grounds? Do you think they will be happy to let someone as smart as us live in their home? But that's a portal beyond another veil. Till then, take care, goodbye.